to Edward. And today we have celestial buddies, which are planets that orbit in the sun. But before I start this video, give it a big thumbs up, like smack that like button, and hit the subscribe button so I know if you if you would like my channel. Anyway, this is the sun. They look like spikes, but they're actually just fuzzes of hot plasma. And they actually have faces. So you can see the face and the hands and the feet. But on this foot, every single foot, every single of one of these foots, their name is on them. See that? The sun. And then Mercury. It's pretty heavy, I would tell. It has shoes that say Mercury. And it kind of looks like the realistic one, except it's not bright. Like, it, I know Mercury like doesn't glow it's just because of the sun like it's not all orange but it still re looks really really realistic the same with the venus speaking of venus we're on the venus venus looks very realistic as you know and it has and she is a girl so the eyes have eyelashes and a heart the heart the heart-shaped lip, lips. Anyway, here's the Earth and the Moon. The Earth and the Moon are very, very creative. The Moon has like eyelids, so like he looks tired because every time the Moon comes out, it's nighttime. So technically, this makes sense a lot. And then the Earth has all the continents, Greenland, North America, South America, Asia, Europe, Africa, some reason no Antarctica, and North North Pole. And beside Asia, there's an extra continent with Australia. I, I don't know why they put an extra continent there. But, still creative, creative. Mars looks realistic too, like Venus. And his North Pole looks like a mohawk. And it says Mars on the foot like Earth, Moon, Venus, Mercury, and the Sun. And like I said, the same with all the other celestial bodies. The name is on the foot. Jupiter has a name, has its name on its foot, and as you know, a gas giant. Looks a very creative detail, as you can see. And do you see his nose? His nose is actually his great red spot that is a, like, raging storm. Saturn has rings that are made of ice and dust that look like on the celestial body and on the foot, its name. And it does look very realistic, like Mars and Venus. And Uranus is on its side because usually planets have rings like this but Uranus has rings like this because something hit it and it's on its side now and it's been the, that way for like nine billion years and it has the cute little eyebrows and the name is on the foot and I just noticed a joke you're and anus are
are separate because your aim is. I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't have put it on even, but anyway. Neptune has the eye for its square red spot, and and it has eyebrows that are pieces of gas floating around. And then again, very realistic. And especially, you can't forget, Pluto and Charon. Pluto and Charon are very, very looking realistic in their celestial body form. And look at it. That is so realistic. And those are so cute. When you, when you cover the mouth up, it's like the cutest thing in the world. And then when you cover... Pluto's eyes, it's cute. You cover this, it's so cute. And you can't forget the heart. You have to remember Pluto. I mean, come on. Come on. And then the non planet thing. So these are the most dangerous things in the universe. They are black holes. Black holes suck everything into it, everything that's in its path. Like, even light can't escape it. So then we have the comet. It's very swirly and fuzzy, and the tail is all like glittery, like fuzzy, all that stuff. And then here are the Polarises. Polaris, Polaris A, B, and Polaris B. I, I don't have to mention this, but I really do have to mention it. Polaris lights up. That is insane. And by the way, I have all the celestial bodies. The ones with the most special one. The king of the celestial bodies, our precious planet, our precious planet is more realistic than all of them. So Alaska, even Canada, even Greenland, even Antarctica, even Africa, and Europe and Asia, like all the continents, still look realistic. That is insane. It's pretty much the largest sphere of all the celestial bodies. Because if, if you compare it to Polaris, it's a little bit bigger. Even though Polaris looks bigger because of its fuzz sticking out. That's the reason. And thank you for watching this video. And before I go, like and subscribe. And I will see you in my second video. Bye-bye.